Hey guys, what's up? Nathan here today, and I am going to be showing you my new baby crested geckos. Normally, I don't make care videos for pets I just got, but I've done so much research, I just figured I'd bunch it all together into a crested gecko care video for you guys. Okay, so to start off with, you could keep them in a fairly, fairly, fairly small container for their first few weeks, but you're going to want to get about 20 gallon for the first half of their life after the first few weeks. Um, right here, I just finished my vivarium build for them. Um, I have a lot of different types of plants. It's really cool. It did take a long time. What I did, I put pond phone on in the back, and then I covered it after it dried with silicone, then I stick the dirt to it, waited about four days for it to dry, and it was perfect, so then I planted all the plants in. Some moss back there, mostly sphagnum, a whole bunch of different plants I don't really know the name of, some air plants down in there, and I bought springtails, but at, at Repticon, but there were actually none in there, which was like really weird. So for the bottom, I have some draining right here, as you can see, draining, and then I have a mix of cork bark and sphagnum moss and um, coconut fiber on the top for the substrate, and I also have some charcoal for the spring pills that I thought I'd end up getting there. So. Another thing with these guys, they don't really need lighting, but if you're going to do a vivarium, I recommend this lighting for them. Um, just because it's safe for the crested geckos, and it also does a really good job of growing plants. Um, another thing with these guys, they do need a lot of humidity, but they're one of the easier types of um, geckos to take care of. So, these are, well, they're easier, but they do take a lot of time. The requirements are easy, but time-consuming. For example, feeding them for the first few weeks, it's going to be kind of hard. You are definitely going to have to put some of the food, which I recommend as this right here. Pangea, that's what I use. Um, you're definitely going to have to put some of that, mix it with water, and put it on your finger. And then hand feed them, kind of like this. Say there was food on my finger, they'll lick it right off. Which is kind of cool. This is my other one, Domino. I like him. He's a Dalmatian. Um, so, you're also going to want to have a lot of sturdier plants. These guys have a lot of problems with breaking plants. They do jump a lot. So, they are going to break some less sturdy plants. So, you're going to want to get ones with pretty sturdy stems for them to climb on. Another thing with these guys is the water situation. They will lick off of the leaves. That is what they do. What I do, I do include right here. This is kind of dirty, but I'm just about to clean it. But I include a little bottom of a container, um, little Tupperware worth of water on the bottom just in case they get really thirsty for some reason. And one thing I forgot to mention, with food, you don't want to waste the food. So right here, I put it in a bottle cap. I put two in there in different places, sometimes up here, and sometimes down here. Um, And I just put the food in there, and they'll lick it out. Like, it's going to be hard to realize when your geckos are first born, if they're eating or not. You're going to have to look for little poops. Hey. They kind of look like any other poo, so you'll you'll notice them. Um, but if it if they're not eating, you might want to take them to a vet because they a lot of geckos. It's hard to feed them. You it's hard. To, you could get lucky or unlucky with your crested geckos eating. I didn't think they were eating, but it turns out they were. And also, you could end up mixing pinheads in, which are small little crickets when they're first born and they might actually eat them. Right now I have them on some bigger crickets and they seem to be doing fine eating those. I've never seen Domino go after one, but I have seen my other one that was in the beginning of the video, Connor, he has gone after them. So another thing with these guys is you have to be very careful with the skill silicone. You want 100% silicone. For it, you want to do a lot of research about it. You want to make sure it's dried. That's also very important for them when you're making it. And I include a little hide. You can't see it, but it's kind of a little cave back here that they like to sleep in, which I think is pretty cool. So, 
in handling these guys, you never want to hold them like this. This could make them feel very claustrophobic. Mine are very tame, so they like that. You could just let them crawl around. And another thing with these guys is these guys, they're hard to find, they're hard to get fat. You will see the ribs. That is not a problem. And they do jump a lot, as you can see right there. So don't be worried if you see the ribs. That's pretty much it for this video. I could give you a little show of the tank. I will be coming out with a video soon about springtail care. And I will be coming out of the video soon about pinhead care. Um, so that's pretty much all, all I have for this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Nathan Safer TV, signing out.